Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I am bringing you my Sunday showcase, which is this most beautiful petal garden suite. Um, it is one of my favourites. It was one of my most favourites when I saw it. Um, and it's here on pages 56 and 57 of the annual catalogue. Um, like I said, I was drawn to it as soon as I saw it. I think it was more the DSP that it just stood out to me. Um, but there's also extras like the memories and more cards and a beautiful textured impressions embossing folder. So many options and they are just stunning um, things. Stunning projects. So I thought why not put together what um, I would like if I was having, uh, if I wanted this as part of my starter kit and you always have to sort of think of a little bit of everything with a starter kit adhesives blocks stamps inks card and then you want a few little bit of extras just to make it all nice and pretty so i put together this with the idea that you can straight away make cards with this now the only one downside was that i was 75p over my 130 pound allowance so it is 130 pounds and 75p um I'm sure if we scratched down the back of the sofa or went for a walk down to the local village or town, you'd probably pick up 75p on the way. So um, it, it is worth it. It is a fantastic bundle. And like I said, there's enough stuff here to keep you going for a while and make a fair few cards. So we'll start off with the stamp set then, Graceful Garden. Um, it is clear mount. Um, and it is beautiful. I love it. This um, rose here is such a good size. You've got this beautiful uh, design here that you could either use as backing or as a main focal point. Then you've got the small flowers and leaves and a couple of little sentiments, which I think was lovely. Um, because of the size of these two stamps, you do need the e-block which let's be fair the bigger the block the more versatility you've got because you can still use it on the small ones um, but you've got that for the nice big size so again you've got that great stamp and then this lovely big block that you can do a heck of a lot with so that's your stamp and your block um, obviously as I said adhesive so snail it's a brilliant little adhesive um, Obviously it comes in a handy little holder so it's dead easy to use, it's just like marking, uh, if you remember, mark correction tape, sorry, when you were at school or work, just like that. It's a great little adhesive, um, it's got a lovely little cover on it as well so it doesn't get stuck to everything, so that's perfect. And then dimensionals, now I've got the normal ones and the, the mini ones, just if you want to be able to build those flowers up, add some character and dimension to your projects you've got dimensionals and like I said we've got both normal and mini ones as well so those and you get three sheets in each so there's plenty of dimensionals to go around there. Um, we then have the DSP now I'll flip it over but I've been using this a fair bit but there are so many beautiful different patterns in here and like I said it is showcased on in the catalogue you can see all of the papers but I just find them lovely. They're so pretty. So you get 48 sheets, six by six, beautiful, beautiful DSP. And what more that do we need to coordinate with? But how about some beautiful ribbon? So this is the um, sheer ribbon. So this one is in fresh fig and this one is old olive. There is also whisper white and calypso coral. I just chose these two because of a couple of projects that I've made to showcase them. Um, but I think, again, they are just beautiful. real, And there's a lot on there as well. Um, I just find those beautiful, beautiful colours. Um, trimmer. How else are we going to create those projects without a trimmer? It's great because it has the scoring tool as well. So it does combine to, 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 the, to be able to do both. Um, so it's quite handy. Um, I wouldn't be anywhere without this trimmer. It's my very first go-to thing. As soon as I'm going to make a card, I pick my cardstock and then this comes up. So this is always my first thing that I go to. Um, the cardstocks. So you pick the pack of cardstock that goes with your DSP. And we have Calypso Coral, Thick Whisper White and then Rich Razzleberry. Again, stunning colours, a great mixture, great blend. Um, 
you can make so many cards and again you can mat and layer with these so you can use the whisper white on top to use as a layer or you can use the calypso coral on top of the rich razzleberry again so many options but great a4 size cardstock so there's there's plenty of options there and then we come to our inks so the four i've chosen are calypso coral pool party old olive and rich razzleberry again the ones that coordinate with the dsp and the stamp and everything else um and two blender well a blender pens you get two in a pack these are again fabulous i love these basically all you do is when you open your inks as you would normally do this instead before you open them give them a press in the center and then when you open it up you've got ink there that's just, it's not pulled it's not going to run anywhere but there's just enough for you then to pick up and color in and that's pretty much what i did with my cards so blender pens are a must um, if you're going to limit yourself to stamps and ink, um, they just give you more versatility. And don't forget as well that you have not got just four colours here. You've potentially got eight because you can stamp on, stamp off, sorry, and then stamp on your card so you get a lighter shade. So in effect, you've actually got eight colours, which is fabulous. So I'll just show you a couple of things that I've made using this kit so that it's ju I just show you how possible it is to make stuff up so here's one card this is a piece of the DSP and I've just simply stamped for you added this on a dimensional and a little bow of ribbon then I've done this one now these flowers were cut out of the DSP I just stamped those ribbons and that backing there and just put for you and then this one a little bit more involved but again the ribbon I've used all three card colours here stamped that off in pool party and then stamped it in the backing and then I've actually stamped the flower in rich razzleberry and then coloured in with my blender pen calypso coral and old olive on there and just so that you know you're not just limited to cards I made this cute little basket with just a couple of chocolates in and as you can see this is just whoops one sheet of DSP that I just made that up so you can even make little 3D gifts just with DSP you don't need a crazy amount of stuff um, it is fabulous and just because I could I made this really cute sampler that just shows you the cards the stamps the DSP and the ribbon just shows it all off there it shows you what's available um, I've not made a sampler before I was quite pleased with how this one turned out but as I say all of these products can be purchased as your starter kit for you to become a demonstrator um, and have the fantastic job that I have and many of my other friends have now if you want any further information about this there's plenty of information on the Stampin' Up! website. There's also information on my blog. The link for that is below in the description. Um, if you have any questions or queries, by all means, get in touch with me. Um, when I mentioned at the very start that you can get all of those products for 130 you do actually only pay £99. You don't pay 130 so you actually get £130 worth of products for £99. So that's even better plus the 75p that I went over. Um, any problems, any questions, any queries, by all means contact me. I'm quite happy to speak to you guys, um, answer any emails or anything like that and let you know if you have any questions. Um, this is definitely one of the suites that I would be looking at getting if I was starting out because, as I say, I think it's beautiful. Anyway, that's it from me today, guys. Hope you all have a fantastic weekend and hope to see you again soon. Bye.